record. Perfect. Thank you so much for showing up for the Zeek community call in December. And um, I am excited because we have a few updates on the Zeek side. And before this is like the last call of the year. So that's kind of like marked the end of uh, successful 2022. So without further ado, let me jump and quickly ask Johanna if she would like to share the updates on the Zeek LD side. Uh, sure. Actually, I think since the last call, there have not been any major activities because we fell into a little bit of a lull after um, CP. Uh, but I want to always call out that um, we make the meeting notes of the Seek LT public. If you are interested in what the Seek LT does, go on to the um, on to um, the. Our website, click on CKLT, and there will be a link to the meeting notes, which uh, leads you into the uh, into the wiki. But apart from that, I think there have been no major activities that really have to be called out here. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, Johanna. Are there any questions for Johanna? All righty. So let's hop off to Christian. Christian, would you like to share the Zeek technical updates or Zeek hey, guys. updates? Sure thing. Thank you, Fatima. So I was thinking uh, what actually happened since the last one. I I, uh, I had to sort of dig into the calendar. So there's a bit of news, uh, a whole bunch, actually. So we have at least, I think, three releases that have come out since last time. Um, so the biggies to flag are uh, 5.1 went out um, and immediately it was followed by a bug fix release right after. So the releases to point out <laughs> that folks in the community should be aware of are uh, 4.0.9 if you're on the LTS train and 5.1.1 if you are sort of following our latest lines of releases um, for the latter. So things to flag that have uh, uh, emerged since 5.1 are um, the telemetry framework, for example, has landed. Um, uh, a bunch of other stuff. I don't think there are sort of these sort of major highlights in that, but please dig into the news file as always sort of for the full change set to be aware of. And for both 5.1.1 and 4.0.9, things to flag are that on the one hand, uh, you are seeing fixes that we're finding through our fuzzing efforts. Um, and there was a major uh, broker fix that well, major, that affected particularly people who ran highly distributed clusters in very high traffic environments, um, where you could, under just the right circumstances, see the loggers um, lock up. So we think that's under control and has now been fixed. So if you're on either of those trains, you should definitely get up um, to those releases. And for folks who are still behind, um, we occasionally see check-ins from folks in the in the uh, Slack, for example, I just like to encourage people to re really please update if you uh, at all can, because um, if you're on on anything older than that, you're just really missing out at this point. Um, other than that, yeah, we're trying to crank down on our open issues. It's sort of the count has gotten a little high. Um, when we approach the hundred marker, we usually get nervous because that just means you know there's there's a lot to do, um, and I think that's that's looking pretty good. The trajectory is sort of downward right now, thanks to everybody. We have a new uh, merge master in the team, Arne. I should I should stress that, of course, that is a recent development. Arne has been around for at least half a year, and I think the the contributions speak for themselves. So so thank you for stepping up, Arne. And if you look at the GitHub activity, you will you will not overlook Arne because he's left and right right now. So thank you. Um, and I think that's all I had. Perfect. Thanks, Christian, for sharing the technical update side. Are there any questions for Christian? All right. So let's move on. And I would like to um, introduce, I reintroduce Richard as our a new uh, communications lead. Like he will be in charge of the media communications and whatnot. So um, Christian, uh, not Christian, sorry. Richard, do you want to share anything on the what's going on on the recent communication sites of the Zeek project? Sure, so we are finishing our sixth round of Zeek Week videos this week. We're going out with a bang tomorrow, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time. We have the last three lightning talks at 11, 11.15 and 11.30 premieres on YouTube. So I'd like to thank everyone who's been tuning into those videos. They've, uh, I think they've been well received and the content was just wonderful. So thank you for all of our speakers and people who organized and all that. So tune in tomorrow for the last, the last three videos. Um, 
uh, there was a mention of the Zeke LT notes uh, that I put a link to that now in the newsletter. So if you want to check out what's going on with like everything we've got as far as how you can interact with the Zeke project, the newsletter, which gets posted to discourse, um, I, I end that with links to everything you, you might be interested in, as well as trying to include uh, a TLDR on what's going on with the project as far as recent releases, other projects that use Zeek that people uh, are, are pretty popular with people. So feel free to check out the newsletter as well. Perfect. Thanks, Richard. Um, yeah, keep keep a track on uh, Slack. We always keep Slack posted. So just in case if you are wondering where to find stuff, and even if you are not able to find stuff on in the right um, site, just let us know, and we should be able to point you to the right direction. We all we all are like very active on Slack, Zeke Slack channel. So if you haven't joined already, we would urge you to join that because we we post all the news, documentation, and other media related stuff there as well. So you can keep uh, posted on that um, communication media as well. So other than that, are there any questions for Richard on the communication side, the, the updates that he discussed? Oh, I should mention, um, we are on Mastodon now. We're, we haven't abandoned Twitter at, at the moment anyway, but we have, uh, I, I claimed the, just Zeke, we didn't have to do security. Uh, I was able to grab just Zeek at the uh, infosec.exchange Mastodon server. So we're already getting people following us there. It's sort of the part, the partial exodus of security people from from Twitter over to uh, Mastodon has has benefited us over over there. So feel free to follow us. Right now, the same material is going to uh, both accounts. But uh, yeah, check us out on uh, infosec.exchange at the Zeek uh, the Zeek handle. That's awesome. Thanks, Richard. Um, other than that, on the uh, training subgroup project side, we haven't been able to have any meeting after Zeek week. And um, so hopefully next year we will have some updates. I have a few uh, ideas for the next year, how trainings would look like. And maybe would be, we would be able to have one training um, for the first half of the year We where we um, uh, have a schedule of training for the first half and then the second half of the year, hopefully around Zeke week. And the training curriculum will be different because we have just started doing the Zeke cluster production network side of training uh, around Zeke week. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, once I will have more concrete updates on those parts, then I will be able to share that hopefully by the beginning of next year when we meet again in January. And meanwhile, if you guys have any questions about Zeke, uh, at all, like even the training subgroup or testing subgroup, feel free to um uh, feel free to get a like you know uh post us question on Slack, and we should be more than we would be more than happy to answer that as well. So with that, I think we are done with the update side of the project. Is there anything people would like to discuss or ask question about in general to the Zeek project? All right. I guess I'll bring something up. Um, there's been sort of a little bit of an internal discussion and also a discussion on Slack about w where it is we put our content. And we're trying to, I think, try to make more sense of what we have and make it easier for people to interact with it and find it. And to that end, we're sort of uh, concentrating, I think, on discourse and Slack. And it seems like discourse seems to be more long form interaction. Um, Kelly called it the bulletin board where you post something and then other people respond to it. Whereas Slack is more like the water cooler where people will meet and hang out and talk to each other. So that, that seems to be what we're doing right now. So for example, if someone watches one of our videos on YouTube and they ask a question about something there, I'm gonna direct them to either Slack or discourse. Same thing on Twitter. If someone tries to ask a question on Twitter, we're not going to try to answer it there. It's really not a great, or, or Mastodon for that account. Uh, it's really not the best interaction uh, in those places. So we'll um, encourage people to use either Slack or Discourse. Discourse, especially, I think, for certain, especially technical material, because um, our Slack isn't necessarily being seen by uh, indexing and, and uh, people who are trying to find answers to questions won't necessarily be able to find it as easily as they would on on discourse. So 
those are the two places we are. And if anyone wants to comment on that or has any feedback, I'm definitely interested. That's a great point. Um, thanks, Richard, for clarifying that. Um, all right. Well, are there anything, is there anything else people would like to discuss or ask about in this call? All right. Well, um, with that, I think we will um, have a short call this time. So I'll let you guys have your rest of the 20 minutes left for this call and uh, we'll we'll post this call online on YouTube after this call ends. So alrighty, thank you so much again, uh, guys, for joining this call and all the a set of updates. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in January in next call. All right, take care, everyone. Bye, Bye folks.